Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in this video, I'm speaking about Ernst Busch. Ernst Wilhelm Bernhard Busch was born on July 6th in the year 1885 in Essen-Stede. In the year 1897, when he was 12 years old, Busch joined the cadet corps Bensberg and graduated main cadet corps Großlichter Felde in the year 1904 and joined the Prussian army. One year later, he was promoted to the rank of second lieutenant. And in June 1913, he was promoted to the rank of first lieutenant and was transferred to the war school in Kassel, where he served as an inspection officer. In the First World War, Ernst Busch served as company commander in the infantry regiment number 56 on the Western Theater. In the year 1915, Busch became a captain and in the following year he became a battalion commander. During the war, he was wounded three times. In May 1915, March 1917, and again in October 1917. For his achievements in the war, he was awarded the Pour le Merite, as well as both classes of the Iron Cross, as well as the House Order of Hohenzollern. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And in the interwar period, Ernst Busch remained in the Reichswehr and became a company commander in the 18th Infantry Regiment. In the year 1924, Busch was transferred into the staff of Reichswehr Gruppenkommando 1. In April of the following year, he was promoted to the rank of Major. And in the year 1928, Ernst Busch started serving as 1st Staff Officer in the 2nd Division. In February 1930, Busch became a battalion commander in the 9th Prussian Infantry Regiment and was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. And two years later, he became the commander of the regiment and was promoted again to the rank of colonel on October 1st, 1932. On September 1st in the year 1935, Ernst Busch was named commander of the 23rd Infantry Division, ranked as a major general. Two years later, he was promoted again to the rank of lieutenant general. And during the Bloomberg Fritsch affair, Busch was a strong supporter of Adolf Hitler's views. Ernst Busch in general had been a strong supporter of Hitler even before the Nazis rose to power and has been loyal to him ever since. His loyalty also brought him the promotion to the rank of General of the Infantry in the year 1938. Adolf Hitler also liked Ernst Busch since he was a highly decorated uh, veteran of the First World War. When the Second World War broke out, Bush participated in the Poland campaign with the 8th Army Corps. After the campaign was completed successfully, Bush took over command of the newly formed 16th Army with whom he participated in the West Campaign as part of Army Group A. On May 26, 1940, he was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. And on July 19th, after the West Campaign was completed, Ernst Busch was promoted to the rank of Colonel General. During Operation Barbarossa, Ernst Busch participated in the advance with Army Group North. During August 1941, the 16th Army, which he was still leading, was in great danger of encirclement by the 38th Soviet Army and had to be rescued by the 56th Motorized Corps, commanded by Erich von Manstein. After Soviet troops broke through the defense lines of the 16th Army in January of 1942, Ernst Busch followed the Führer's orders to hold the lines, which led to the encirclement of about 6,000 German soldiers, as well as the loss of almost the entire 290th Infantry Division. Georg von Küchler was so dissatisfied with Ernst Busch's performance 
that he, together with Franz Halder, tried to get Adolf Hitler to dismiss Ernst Busch. Due to his loyalty to the Führer, however, he remained in his position. During the remainder of the year 1942, Bush's army was involved in defense battles around the city of Demyansk. Despite his average performance, Bush was promoted to the rank of field marshal on February 1, 1943. He was also awarded the oak leaves to his Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross in August 1943. After Günther von Kluge got injured in a car accident on October 12, 1943, Ernst Busch took over command of Army Group Center. This command overwhelmed the field marshal, who only trusted on Hitler's ideas and judgment. The reason that Army Group Center was able to hold its positions during the winter time in 1943 and 1944 was their able commanders that were subordinate to Ernst Busch. And so Army Group Center lost very little territories compared to the other two army groups, which led ultimately to a way overstretched front lines, which Bush's army commanders were aware they couldn't hold and begged for permission to withdraw their troops. During the strong Soviet summer offense in 1944, Ernst Busch was unable to get permission to withdraw his troops by Adolf Hitler. And in the end of June 1944, after Busch had asked again for the permission to withdraw his troops, he was dismissed as commander of the army group. Personally hurt, Busch left his command stand without even briefing his successor, Walter Model. After his dismissal, he was described as broken and depressed due to his major part that he played in the defeat of Army Group Center. In March of 1945, however, he was recalled as the commander of Army Group H, succeeding Karl Dönitz. During the last days of the Second World War, Ernst Busch even became commander-in-chief North, and on May 4th, 1945, Bush surrendered to British troops. On July 17th of the same year, Ernst Bush died as a British prisoner of war due to angina pectoris. <laughs>